I've resigned from the Court of Final Appeal, of which I was until last week a part-time judge, serving approximately one month each year. Um, in 2020, the, uh, Beijing imposed a national security law, and since then, uh, life has become progressively more difficult for the people of Hong Kong, especially those of them who objected to the policies of the, of the Hong Kong government uh, and those who wanted a larger measure of democracy in Hong Kong. In 2019, there were some really very serious riots and nobody, I think, can, can really regard that as acceptable. But Hong Kong, like other countries, has perfectly good laws already for dealing with riots. The object to which the national security law has been used is essentially to suppress peaceful dissent. Um, after a number of years in which the decisions of the courts was causing growing concern, last week on the 30th of May, um, the High Court convicted 14 uh, pro-democracy politicians uh, for, of conspiracy to commit sedition. And yet, uh, Hong Kong authorities have responded by saying your move was political. There is the law and your job is to, um, you know, make a judgment based on the law. How would you respond to that? I would respond by saying that I haven't, in fact, uh, uh, made a point about the politics in itself. What I've done is to make a point about the impact of the politics on the judiciary. And that is something uh, on which I have a good deal of personal experience. Uh, so I reject the suggestion. You have, as I said, worked for, for several decades in Hong Kong and gone back and forth. Not continuously. Not continuously, but, over, but in that period, you would have seen it change and become what it has today. Just describe to our audiences sort of what it was before the national security law and, and what it has become today. Um, so that the situation before the national security law was, I'm not going to suggest for a moment that it was satisfactory, but there was no, uh, there was absolute freedom of assembly and thought. If you engaged in peaceful protests, nobody would stop you. The, the difference that the national security law has made uh, is that it has penalised certain ideas, um, even when expressed peacefully and, as we see uh, from the latest decision, even when it's uh, pursued by entirely democratic and constitutional means. Is democracy now dead in Hong Kong? I mean, we've seen a mass exodus of people as well. It's not dead, but it is on life support. Um, that in 2021, the year after the national security law, the electorate was changed so that now, uh, whereas previously half the Legislative Council was directly elected, now the position is uh, that it's a much smaller proportion. Um, so that the possibility of obtaining uh, a majority by democratic means has now been pretty well eliminated.